Hello, what we have here is a nucleus which consists of a feeder with the insert here and inside we have five frames and a dummy board. Now these five frames are of undrawn new wax. You can use drawn wax if you want but we're using undrawn wax here for the demonstration. I'm going to leave it like that. What we have here is a Smith Hive. It's full. It has about 10 frames of brood in the bottom. We have a super slowly getting filled up with uh, springtime stores. What I intend to do here is I'm going to go into the brood box. I'm going to look through the frames. I'm going to find the queen. I'm going to catch the queen. I'm going to secure her in my pocket, keep her nice and warm out the road and reintroduce her later on once I've made up this. So, full of bees. Super, absolutely brimming with bees, with uh, young bees as you would find in the super. Uh, well, that's an assortment really, but majority of them are young bees. I'm going to take this off, lay it down at the side and take this queen of sclerer off. Now I'm going to delve through this box. Now I know I'm going to replace some of these frames in here sometime. So initially I'm going to start with this side. I will take the frame out. If this is stores, then great. What I'll do is replace that. Because in here I want one stores here, another stores at the end. I want one frame of pollen and possibly stores and maybe brood, certainly one frame of eggs and one frame of brood and eggs, hopefully. So I'll, do, I'll take them out, ready for the replacement. Again I'm looking through this, through this quite diligently, looking for what I need. I'm looking for the queen initially but I wouldn't find a queen as early as this, hopefully not. But you have to look very carefully in amongst the bees. What I find here is this is covered in stores also. I'm actually going to put that in this section. So I've got my two stores here. That's nearly there, only three frames to go in this. I pick the next frame up, check for the queen, no queen. Next frame, always double check, no queen, over and under. I'm getting near the centre of the brood nest now, and lo and behold, I find the queen. I get my queen catcher, lovely little queen catcher. I find her, I trail her, I lay very gently down, make sure I don't catch her and I turn the handle and now I have the queen in here. She's secure and I need her to go somewhere warm. My pocket. Perfectly okay in there. Now I know this is queenless. I'm more than happy. I check. There are some eggs, there are some brood in this, but it may be better here. I'm getting near the centre of the nest. Yes, I see lots of brood in this. I'm going to use this as a brood frame. I come here, I examine and I find yes there are some brood here but there is many eggs also and many eggs on this side. I'm going to place that in there. I never knock the bees off, the bees are still there. I know the queen isn't there, the queen is in my pocket so I'm very happy with that. Now I'm going to look for cat brood. No cat brood, just some eggs, and we've got quite a lot of cat brood here. What I'm going to do now is put that in there. Now what I have here is two frames of stores. I have a frame of pollen, maybe some eggs, maybe some cat brood, but a lot of food. 
lot of protein, a, a, a big frame of eggs and, and some cat brood and some eggs here. So I'm happy with this now. There isn't very much bees in it. There isn't very many nurse bees in it. So I need to, I need to fill this up. If you notice, the entrance is closed. These bees are in a, in a state of excitement and now the queen isn't there. They're wondering what's happening. Some are escaping. What I'm going to do now is get my super. Middle of the super. Knock the bees in. These are juvenile bees. Knock them in. Knock them in. Depending on how many bees are on it, maybe four frames, knock them in. Close them up. In here now, two frames of stores, one frame of uh, pollen, and maybe some eggs or, or larvae. Definitely one good frame of eggs, maybe a, a few larvae and some cat brood and one of cat brood. They're in here, they're contained in here now. The door is shut. That is a nucleus of bees. I would then take them three miles away, deposit them somewhere, and you can open them up almost immediately and give them some feed. Let them grow. Check after about uh, six days for drawn queen cells and uh, act accordingly. You have, may have to knock some down uh, because they may produce more than four or five. So how many do you leave? That's a question. Now what we have here now is a split hive. We have got eggs and brood here, eggs and brood there. We need to consolidate everything. So what I'll do is bring everything together put my frames in. Two in one side, three in the other side. Never forget this. I now have the queen. She's been caged in here successfully. Nice and warm. What I will do now is lay her on top of the frames here over an opening and open this. So I put her here, I open her up I watch her, she's very visible, I see her crawling down, I will double check, absolutely first glass, that goes back in my pocket for safekeeping, queen excluder goes on, and these house bees go back on. Now, that's perfectly okay, that's queen right. There are five frames of new uh, wax, wax foundation put in there and everything is okay. I'm more than happy with that. Now when I said you could take this away three miles and open it up straight away and let the bees come out, if there are any foragers there, come out. They have not orientated themselves to anywhere. The, the brood will start hatching, they will orientate themselves to the where, where you are, we've placed them in situ uh, and everything's okay after that. Now, if you've not got somewhere that's three miles away or the use of another apiary where you can take them, what you can do is lift the whole box up. For here, for instance, you can take them, put them in a the cottage, somewhere cool, obviously wrap them up, put a notice on it, do not touch you can come back in three days and take them into the apiary and open up the box. They would have lost their homing instinct by then 
and you have a, a nook placed where you want it in the apiary. But there, there are other ways to do it.